What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode, man. Devin and I are here at storage getting out the hot tamale, man, and we have come to a possible conclusion with the Garmin Force. We have been stowing it the wrong direction. We've had the propeller facing this way, which has meant loading and unloading becomes a pain with the trailer. We are idiots, and we have now figured out that we need to have it this way. The reason why we didn't have it stowing this way is because when we originally got the Garmin trolling motor installed, uh, they had the wrong L bracket on, and I believe what we need to do is actually rotate this and use the other L bracket for it to be on the starboard side versus the port side, or vice versa, whichever one's on it right now. It's got the... Uh, I think this one's got the port side mount on it, so we need to switch back to the start. Anyways, basically we need to get our Garmin Force trolling motor to stow this way and be able to based on where this perspective mount is, but we can't sometimes because the way this is rotated to be functional, it wants to uh, have us stow it the opposite direction. That might not make any sense. Anyways, we'll go in depth in a further episode. But Devin and I were trying to raise up the shaft because the coils are getting a little tight on here, and I think that's why it's messing up on the spot lock because it feels like it can't twist and keep us in a certain position. So I'm trying to raise up the shaft just a little bit and the steps online say to lift the trolling motor halfway between stowed and deployed and then just loosen this collar and you can raise it up. Well, we just were in here for 20 minutes. We're breaking a sweat out here trying to fix this thing. Looked online, followed all the steps straight from Garmin and we can't get that thing to raise up. So we're gonna try to get out on the water. Maybe there'll be something different. We turned the boat's power on and off and had the trolling motor running and all. we tried everything. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the lake, man. I'm not sure what all we've got in store for you today, but it's gonna be a fun time once we actually get to the location. You know what I'm saying? Five o'clock and like 92 degrees out here. Probably only gonna get hotter for the next hour or so, but we're hitting a trolling motor only lake. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see you there. Pit stop, the old gas station. You guys are probably getting pretty used to that on our vlogs by now. Filling up the truck, filling up the boat, getting a little ice and uh, ready to rock and roll. Alrighty then, topping her off. Ready ice, as opposed to ice that's not ready. Watch this swoosh. Woo! Nothing but net. In 10 miles, take the exit toward President George Bush Turnpike. All right, y'all, so there's road closures all the way around this place, and you can't really get to the ramp from the side we came in from, so we flipped to Yui. <sighs> we're trying to get launched an hour before the sun even sets and get some fishing in on a lake that we're probably not even gonna be able to cover much ground on since it's a trolling motor only spot. We'll have to see what happens, man. We found the ramp, man. Let's go ahead and unload this thing. Well, slight hiccup, there's some stumps right off the ramp. Like, straight up stumps. I guess, I th concrete you think? Maybe it's rock. I don't know, I'm gonna try and stay to the left. But, uh, looks a little dangerous. Sorry, I'm gonna have to squeeze by you, is that cool? How is it moving? Up here? We got a motor up front. On the water at 6.50, man. We got an hour and a half plus. It's gonna be a good old time. I think we might flip the reeds first, then head over to the dam later and uh, fish out deep with some cranks if we got to. All right. First things first, let's clear a little space. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's one, yeah. Tie on a Texas rig or a jig, I'm undetermined. Maybe a black and blue jig to do something a little bit different than what Devin's throwing. Also, we broke out the CPAR 9 tonight. We might throw this big old swim bait. It's got an awesome action. This is one of those ones that Jared gave us and we're pretty stoked to throw for the first time. So we'll see if we can't get a bite on that a little later, maybe over by the dam or something. I think I've only got one Guggen Squad flipping jig on me, so I'm just gonna be tossing the casting one tonight because the flipping one I've got is not the ideal color for this water. It's a little bit more natural. I'm thinking black and blue might be the ticket, but that's just at first sight based on this clarity here, so. There's one swimming to the right. And Devin says she's seeing them all around us, and I'm seeing them too. We're in about seven foot of water, and this guy dives three to six feet. Let's see if we can't pick one of these off. This is just that mini recon. Pretty sure I just had one on him. No more bandito bug. Nope. First hits of the night came on the jig right over here in the shallows, man. We saw him cruising on perspective on the other side in the shallows. A little more shade here. 
and it seems to be getting to be feeding time. We got a lot to work before we get to the dam. This might be just uh, the right move. We're not going to get to work uh, a ton of this place tonight, so it'd be nice just to get a couple things dialed in and see if we can't find them over here. Hit it up again soon, you know? Learning experience out here. All right, y'all, as we cruise on over to the dam for that sunset bite, uh, just here with a little check-in for you guys. We saw quite a few fish right back here that we were seeing about eight feet, eight foot depth. I was throwing around the little recon and I was actually getting down to them, but uh, no bites. So we'll see what happens, man. We're going to keep chunking it, but we're heading over this way. I think we're going to get our first bites over here on the shady side over by the dam. High hopes, high hopes. All right, man, check this thing out. We had, we definitely had to stop in here. You can't tell me there's not a fish on all these columns. In fact, let me take a look. Life scope is seeing some good stuff. Just trying to see if they'll hit that black and blue jig back here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, it ain't Lake Fork, but she got stumps too. That thing over there by the rock might do pretty good too. All right, man, we have almost made it to the dam, but look at this rock. This looks too good to pass up. Cast along here with a little crank, chatterbait, maybe toss a jig in for a second. There's some reeds over here. So that's good. Well, I just did, I, I got us two crankbaits, so. Whichever, if you want to use the big or the small one, I'll use the opposite. Got out the crank, man. A lot of fish, six to 15 feet down. This is an eight to 12 footer right here. We are seeing if we can't get something as light as fading. Oh, I just got a bite. Yeah. Wait, we got to stay over here on the pink thing on the big pink thing. Uh, nothing today. First time out here trying this one though. So we just got out here maybe 6.30 we launched. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll need to hit that. <laughs> this thing's crazy looking. It's a lot of bait fish. Oh, I was on. Something went after it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got hit. Well, y'all, Devin's breaking up the swim bait. I'm throwing the jig right up here in this dock. And uh, that might be all we got for this first night out here on this new lake, man. A lot of fun. We did identify a few key spots and some people telling us what we need to do the next time we fish this thing and really have some more time to devote. But that's how it is fishing a new lake sometimes, man. Uh, we did not really hit too many deep spots. We figured hour and a half before sunset hit some of the edges, um, different structure. We hit rocks, we hit reeds, we hit wood, we hit everything to be honest and uh, no dice this evening, but we will get back out here and uh, get on these things. And who knows, we might even get a catch before we get back in, but what we're gonna do is put on those navigation lights here in just a second, that way we're being safe out here and uh, we'll catch you guys back at the ramp if we don't get anything. But I'm just getting everything ready to put in the truck. Well, you may have already guessed, y'all, we didn't catch any fish, but that is how it goes sometimes. The bite is not always fire. We were fishing a new lake. It was very stained, trying different baits. Uh, there's only a few areas that were deep enough to really locate them on the graphs as far as uh, maybe even like cranking, but we didn't have enough time to kind of identify the offshore points. We were really just looking for what can we hit along the banks. As it gets closer to sunset, you'd assume those big fish are coming up to feed. We got a couple bites and that was about it. But y'all, that's okay. Be looking out because we've got a lot of awesome some content coming your way. I actually have a northern trip planned. We're going to be going for some smallmouth very soon. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this little series. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll catch you on those videos. See ya! Boom.